Okay, we're back. And yeah, gonna record some more videos to put out in the next couple of weeks. Um, you know, some life updates from the last videos. Got a job, which has been really cool. And then it was my birthday a couple weeks ago, which my dad called me. And he told me that when he was my age, he owned a house and was married and had started a family. And then I said that I had just texted a girl a photo of me playing chess against a dog to try and flirt with her. And my dad seemed pretty disappointed in learning that about me. And then I said he should be more disappointed in my older brother who broke up with his fiance for like the third time. Because that seems way worse than, you know, what I was doing. I'm just playing chess. And that seemed to make my dad pretty upset even more, like on a different, like on an emotional level. Which, um, now that I am saying it out loud, I gotta remember to cut that, cut like the dialogue and audio of me saying that out of this video, because it's probably going to cause me some problems. So maybe I should, um, write that. No, I'll, I'll remember to cut it out of the video. Um, so we're going to play... Sven, an 1100 rated robot to get back into the swing of things from Slovenia with the five o'clock shadow and, you know, one of the weirdest, ugliest turtleneck sweaters I've ever seen. Real life, you know, you don't get a lot of multicolored sweaters like that. So we'll do that. We'll play E4 and he's going to play the French, which is weird for a Slovenian person. Um, I've gotten a couple of different messages on topics that people want covered. Um, some of them we're not going to do. One of them was about the 2008 American housing crisis, which, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I can wedge that into chess that well. Um, other ones were about uh, some football things, which, again, don't know how I'm going to do. And one was about guns, which I don't know if you remember. We're going to play uh, Knight C3, by the way. Uh, guns. And uh, if you remember, I already recorded a video about guns that I took down. But we sent a challenge to a guy and then used the chat to tell him that we had a gun. And we were just basically vaguely threatening him without actually threatening him. And the people at Chess didn't seem to really like that in terms of me working here and having that video out. They said it didn't really work for them. And I said that it does work because, you know, if your opponent has a gun and you're playing chess in, like, real life against him, you're going to be nervous. You're not going to play well. And they said, like, a bunch of ethical, you know, not appropriate, like, things in terms of what I was doing, and I, you know, I think we just didn't understand each other's points, um, because, you know, even if you're, we're gonna, I don't know what we want to do, we're gonna push, um, we, like, you know, even if you are just, like, playing a child in a chess club, and you have a holster with no gun, just, like, a empty holster, just the vague implied threat of having a gun is going to unnerve that child and they're going to play worse. And like, I don't know, if you're like me, you play chess in waves. You might be super interested in it for a couple of weeks or months and then you'll stop and then you'll pick it back up. It's not like a, a big thing. It's like, you know, it's a good way to rela relax. Well, whatever, I'm just rambling. So... A lot of beginning chess games, we're going to focus on knights, by the way, which I meant to say before the video started, but I've already traded off one of my knights, so we're not actually going to focus on knights. That was stupid of me to say, and we're not going to talk about guns at all. This is the, I'm going to stop saying gun. This is the last time. <sighs> this is going so bad. Um, we're going to talk about guns. Um, so we see this move a lot in beginning and intermediate chess uh, games, which I personally like to see from my opponent because it means we can develop and hit that. So that's, that's pretty good for us. And then again, we can develop something with the implied threat. This is going to be like our holster, which, uh, sorry to keep bringing up guns, we're going to stop, but this is going to be like a, 
you know, implied threat of eventually they're going to need to move this. And so, hmm, <laughs> what to do? Well, if I move the knight here, this square, I have another x-ray going. So if I go, we want, we want to draw an arrow to try and think this out here. Do I castle? Because there's no real threat down here. So do we castle? Do we try to trap this queen? What happens? Queen there. So, I mean, if he goes down, what's going to happen here? If he goes down, we push, and then he's got to go back. And then what do we do? We just take, and then we're hitting that and hitting that. So that's not going to work. This is going to be the most thinking we're going to do. And then I'll talk about, you know, my dating life or something. Uh, that's probably going to be even worse than guns, to be honest with you. I should just... So we're going to go here. And I think this is an important moment to think because, you know, Black's position, they have a light squared bishop and they've put all of their pawns on light squares. And yeah, our dark square bishop kind of sucks because it's the same thing. But we have way more pieces developed already, so we have a chance here. Um, so I go here, and then what's going to happen? We've already established where he can't go, so he's probably going to go there. And then, hmm, <laughs> what do we do? Well, would that trap right there? No, because he's got one square to go to. And then... What do we do? Can I can I attack even more? Would that work? I don't know. We might be getting too into the weeds here. All right, let's give it one more try. So, knight's over there. I think we've established he has to go there because alliance with queen h4 aren't really that great. And then we get another attack in developing. He has to come here. And then I just feel like we're so close to getting Black's position. You know, it's just like completely crumbling. But what do we do? What do we do? Hmm. <laughs> we're going to go for it. So we're expecting that. No. Oh. So that seems, that seems pretty easy. Because we're going... We take the pawn. And, uh... We're going to be hitting that, which he needs to move, and that. So that seems like a pretty killer move. And wow, okay. So, I mean, where this is, you know, there's a lot of game to be played here, but I'm pretty happy that, you know, we're up four points of material, and um, we've got what's pretty close to a winning position if not outright winning already. And so, you know, I can take a second to try and figure out what the next thing I want to focus on for you guys is. Um, not going to talk about guns. Um, dating. 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 No, because that's just going to get me in so much trouble no matter what I say. We're going to we're gonna castle, I think. And then we're going to push this to just try and open it up. And this might not be the best plan of attack, yeah. But I'm up material and Black's position is in pretty rough shape. So I'm kind of thinking now, do I get rid of this doubled pawn here and undermine their position even more? Which, yeah, might open up their bishop. But, you know, we're up four points of material. Or I can play g4 and prep this pawn push because this is defending that you know we have a lot of possibilities here i kind of like i mean this seems more direct because if we can get rid of hmm, this is, i mean i'm probably overthinking it i just don't want to you know free this and then open stuff up and give them some counterplay so it might not be the right decision but we're gonna go 
Yeah, we're gonna go for uh, this F5 push. Which, you know, we're just gonna be trading pieces off here. And, you know, our opponent is 1100. They're gonna drop some pieces, sure. And this wasn't the most instructive game. You didn't learn anything about my dating life or guns. Um, so, how can we make this as instructive as possible? Well, um, one time when I was in high school, I went on a date with my girlfriend at the time to a cemetery in the woods, and I got Lyme disease. And that's not really relevant to what's going on over the board. I was just trying to... I, honestly, since I started talking about guns, I cannot stop talking about guns. So um, I just am trying to really distract myself with just something, you know? Literally anything that's not guns. So we're gonna we're gonna try and throw a checkmate in here someplace, and it might be like instructive to um. Hmm. I don't know. Is there is there something we can teach you from this position? Well, we can we can teach like a checkmate maybe with just um. Just the rook. We would have to get all the pieces off the board. Because I feel like this fell apart super fast in a, in a not completely instructive way. This knight is so out of the game that we're just going to... We're going to go slow here and hopefully... Let's, let's just do some calculation. We're up 8 points of material. We don't want to rush. You know, you're always up material and then you blunder something stupid. And then you remember something stupid you did. Like, you know, make your dad mad or keep talking about guns and you've been specifically instructed by your boss not to talk about guns in a chess video. So check here, only move, well he could take and then we take and then only move and then check and that seems like checkmate, no? What am I missing here? Oh he's gonna go down. So there's gotta be a, a mate somewhere. Take, take, Take moves. Ooh, what about a check there? That seems pretty good, so we can't do that. So what do we have left? Check. Take. Check. Take. Mm. I feel like we're missing something here. Check over here is what we figured out was forced. And so can't go over here because he's just going to block. So, check. He comes over here. Oh, that'd be actually kind of interesting. Check. Take. Check. Oh no, I lose that because this rook is over there. We're gonna, we're gonna just go for this line and hope for the best, which is not the way you should play chess. Um, so I need to throw in another check because we're under attack. So I actually miscalculated this pretty hard. Pretty hard, but we're still gonna we're gonna pick something up here. And we're gonna teach you, even though we might have already done this in a previous video, it was so long ago, we're gonna teach you how to checkmate with just a rook. Well that actually throws a wrench into the plans here. Check. It's gonna be over there. We're gonna can I turn auto? Yep, we're gonna do with just the rook. And we're gonna get rid of all our pieces here. To show you the rook and king checkmate. I need to like worry about not stalemating. Um, he can always take that. You know, we're not gonna we're not gonna teach you that. We're just gonna checkmate like that. And you know, I haven't recorded a video in a while. This is not gonna be instructive at all. 
Um, and I would appreciate if all of you would not uh, email this to my brother.